No Film School's coverage of NAB is brought to you by Shutterstock, your source for stunning HD and 4K footage, plus high quality music. Blackmagic Design, amazing solutions for film, post-production, and television. My Road Reel, the world's largest short film competition is back. Hey guys, this is Andy with No Film School. We're here with Adam, here to talk about the new DJI products. And right now we're focusing on the Ronin MX. Uh, tell us what's new and different. So a couple of really interesting things, Andy. First of all, this is the first entry in the Ronin line that is positionally where on the ground. It's got GPS, so it knows where it is, how fast it's moving, which is great if you're a film director. You can repeat a take and use the same specs as you had originally when you did it the second time or the third time. Do you mean like a motion controlled movement? It's got GPS on the ground. And then it, it also converts really quickly when you mount it to our, our new M600. It talks directly to the integrated A3 flight controller. So essentially what's happening there is it's always been very good at reacting and balancing when it reacts. But now what it does is when you pump in a control with the remote control to move the drone a certain way, it's receiving the same signal as the drone is from the uh, speed controller. So it knows where the drone's going before it goes, and as a result, it's acting, not reacting. It's, it makes for much smoother movement of your footage. Tell me about this new part right here. Uh... Yeah, so what we've done is, we've, in recognition of balance being hugely important and ease being hugely important, we move the battery from the back to the front. You know, what we recognize is you want the most stable balance experience possible, and we found that replacing the battery, moving it from back to front does that, as well in the back of it, you now, through a battery plate using a DJI intelligent battery, can power your own camera in flight. Is this the same battery mount as the one in the back? Different battery mount, different battery mount. This one's using a plate in the back. You can't really see it from this angle, but it, that's how you attach it. What are the physical spec differences between this and the other two models you guys have? Well, this is closer to the Ronin M. It's slightly heavier than Ronin M. You'll notice when you pick it up. But it really, the main difference, it's not cosmetic. It's like essentially what we're talking about here. This, this is more ergonomic. It's easier to hold, even though it is just a little bit heavier. It's got the same kind of uh, quick uh, release levers, levers here. But the main thing I would say, besides it's being ergonomic, is it's smart this time. And I know everyone uses the expression smart. But there's a lot going on here. There's, there's circuitry. Um, there's communication going on between user and the uh, the actual Ronin itself and also when you put it on the drone it's communicating directly with the drone. The new uh, Matrix 600 is a new drone. Uh, tell us what's new. So the M600 uh, came out yesterday and you're gonna hear a similar theme with me as when we were talking about things like the, the Ronin MX. We're not just interested in giving you something made of carbon that flies well or that it stabilizes well. Here what you're getting is an integrated package. When you buy this out of the box what's included is the hexacopter, that's our heavy lifter, comes with six batteries, that's a full set. There's a lot of redundancy on board here, so if one battery were to suddenly lose power, this will not fall. The other five batteries will pick up the load. They're working in parallel and serial to each other. You've got redundancy on board here, but the most important thing is that this comes integrated with the A3 flight controller. The A3 flight controller is our most advanced flight controller right now. We have Lightbridge 2 technology, you have very strong video downlink transmission the capability out to five kilometers. Not that you're going to fly out that far, but it shows you how strong the signal can and should be. But the A3 also does a lot of really interesting things. There's a lot of upgradability to it. So this is already pretty stable, and it's got the one GPS unit. But then there's an option to upgrade to the Pro version, which has three GPS modules on top. That kind of redundancy is unbelievable. Uh, what we're talking about here is extreme accuracy. If you're a filmmaker, you can get back to pretty much the same location. But if pretty much the same location is not quite enough for you, we also have one more solution. On the other side of this, we have our RTK module. So what you have there is that gives you centimeter accuracy and positioning. So if you want to do VMX, complex scenes that you have to shoot several times in several different ways and put them together in post and that kind of workflow, that is what you're going to be looking for. Uh, what can you tell us about the payload? This is compatible with many different kinds of cameras. Uh, it'll use several Aries, Reds, Blackmagic, use some Canons as well. It flies our own cameras too, with our own gimbals. So for example, X5R can fly on this. And what you're looking at then with the lower payload, like the X5R, is you can stay aloft for th about 36 minutes. Um, if, if you're flying with a, a bigger camera, uh, something attached to the Ronin, for example, you're only going to get about 16 minutes of flight time. 
So with six fully charged batteries, you get about half an hour of flight time? You're, yeah, with, with six batteries and a, a small payload, you're going to get uh, that, that half hour range, slightly more. Uh, it'll be slightly less when you're carrying a heavier payload. So what's the maximum weight capacity? Maximum weight capacity, carrying capacity of the M600 is 13.2 pounds. So with, if the maximum capacity of the M600 is 13 pounds and the Ronin MX weighs about 6 pounds, yeah. so that means that the maximum... The difference is about 7 pounds, right. So that's what you're looking at for a maximum weight of camera that you can carry if you're taking this in the air with the Ronin MX fully loaded. What you're seeing here is the M600's DRTK unit. It gives you centimeter positioning accuracy, which is awesome for VFX. When you have to do multiple shots, with supreme accuracy. We've got the ground reference station, and then we have the two antenna up in the sky on the platform. And what they're doing is like GPS, even with the three GPS modules, you're still kind of being told where it was. That's the plus or minus factor. The plus or minus one centimeter here is, this is actually where the drone is because the drone becomes part of this vector calculation. So as it's moving through the sky, you're actually getting a reading of where the drone is, not where it was. What are the price points for all of these different bits? <laughs> right, so the M600 as a base model, which includes the set of batteries and, of course, the A3 controller, the basic A3 controller, is uh, $45.99. You can pair it up with the stability of the, the Ronin MX for $15.99, uh, but the bundle price of that is $59.99, so it's just under $6,000 if you buy it as a bundle. You know, you're essentially looking at, for the base model of this is $45.99, you're going to double that if you put RTK on board. The RTK is about $45.99? $45 okay. Yeah. How much is the uh, other GPS uh, module? $1,000. $1,000? Yeah.